Hey everyone, my name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. Okay, so I want to talk about this book. This book was definitely a bookstagram made me do it. I was walking through, I read the description of it and I did not really want to read it. I kept seeing it all over the place. Everyone was raving about it and I was just like, I don't get it. I finally decided to because a friend of mine said she wanted to read it and I was like, okay. Everyone on Instagram is saying it is good. I read the inside cover and didn't really want to read it. So I'll try it. All I have to say is dystopian is back. I have missed it with a passion and now it is back. I'm talking about the grace year. The grace year is dystopian rethought. So if you read the dedication and kind of the inspiration of the book, it was inspired by Lord of the Flies and The Handmaid's Tale, which I definitely see reading this. I definitely get that feel, even though I never actually haven't read either of them. Shh, don't tell anybody that. I have watched The Handmaid's Tale show. I do have a fairly good idea of what Lord of the Flies is about. But I saw more than just those two stories. I saw inspiration from the Hunger Games. I saw inspiration from the Maze Runner. I saw inspiration. Oh, there was a def another one that I definitely kept telling people. I don't know. It'll come back to me. But I saw all of those big books in it. It's about this girl named Tyranny. She lives in this small community and the small community has this belief that girls, once they turn 16 years old, have this magic that's in their bodies that is able to seduce and trick and control men. And it doesn't matter what age man they are. So the town has come up with a solution that they are going to take all of the 16 year old girls in their 16th year and send them off into the woods where they may die, they may disappear, they may never come back, but it's to rid them of this magic. Tyranny is the main character that you follow throughout this story. This book was really what I was looking for when I read another book last year that I'm not going to name drop. A lot of people who have read this and have read the other book, know which one I'm talking about. If you wanna know, you can DM me on Instagram and we can chat about it. But it's what I wanted out of that story. And I got it in this story. It was that survival, fighting, like manipulating characters that you didn't really know what was going on. Is the magic real? Is it not real? Is there something bigger happening here? Like those were all of the things that happened in this book. People on Goodreads gave this book a 4.16 star rating. I, I thought that was about right. I gave it a four. I will explain in uh, a spoiler section at the end uh, why, a main reason why I, I gave it that. But overall, I thought it was really solid. I want dystopian books to come back. Like I'm really excited about bringing that and vampires they're coming please bring them back but don't overdo them don't overdo them so yeah uh four stars for me for the grace year by kim liggett 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 i suck at names so i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong. at this point if you haven't read it stop this video like right now stop it right now because i don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So please stop it because there are other things that I want to talk about. Okay, hopefully you have stopped it and if you're watching you know that this is spoilers. Spoilers right now. <laughs> One thing that I absolutely did not like about this book, did not like at all, was the random love interest that was thrown in. I personally didn't think it needed it. I mean, yeah, it added to the story. It added to the ending, which I'm not going to say on here because I really don't want to spoil things. It hit me the wrong way because I felt like Tyranny had this 
aversion to getting married like you go through this whole part in the beginning with her and the veiling ceremony and never wanting to be like that and then all of a sudden it's like oh I love this guy and now I'm going to be with him and run away and we're gonna have this wonderful life and I was like that happened fast I know that the book tries to it, it, it's a solo right so time is warped when you have just a standalone book but I just felt like that happened way too fast. And it was so out of character for her fighting against what they were doing the entire rest of the book. I don't know. That's just me. That's the part that really stuck out. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button there and click on the button to add notifications so that you know when I post new reviews. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at The Fun Size Reader, at Facebook at The Fun Size Reader, and on Twitter at Fun Size Reader. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks. All right, are you done? If any of you can see, I don't know if you can even see him. No, you can't. Say hi to Dashie. Dashie wants to talk about books too. Hi, say hi, Dashie. Say hi. No? Okay, go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down, buddy. Oh, he just wants to be pet today. <laughs>